I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living, ayy. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionista, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make satin line hoodies three different ways. So just stay tuned. Our first step is to create a pattern for your hood. And to do this, all you want to do is trace around your hood like such. But when you get to the end, I'll show you guys how to add seam allowance. We'll need seam allowance for all three methods just to make sure everything looks seamless. Now that we have the hoodie fully traced out, you want to add 0.5 seam allowance on the side and on the bottom. Whenever you're creating a pattern, you want to always be sure to mark your pattern. Always label it for what it is. And here I'm labeling it a small hood and I'm going to cut two pieces of fabric out. Now you just want to simply cut out your pattern so that we can begin cutting our fabric. Now we're going to begin cutting out our fabric. You want to cut out two pieces for this. So fold your fabric over, place your pattern down, and cut all the way around. You want to leave maybe a, extra, a little extra space outside of the lines. I should have done that, but I didn't. But for you, leave a little extra space outside of your cutting lines. Once you have your fabric cut, this is what it should look like. The pink fabric we're going to sew, the black fabric we're going to use fabric glue, and the blue we're going to use hemming tape. Each method does require you to sew where it is pinned. When sewing, be sure to end and begin with a back stitch. You also want to make sure you're sewing with a half an inch seam allowance. So once you have all your hoods sewn, you want to fold over the loose ends about a half an inch and iron them down. Also, for better application, cut off the excess fabric near your stitching. Be sure not to cut your actual stitching or you'll have to sew it over. The next step is to pin your fabric to the hood. Turn your hoodie inside out so that it's easier for you to pin. You want to pin seam to seam. So, as you can see, I'm pinning that middle seam. You also want to pin the mid-back seam, the side seams, and anywhere else that you feel comfortable just to keep your fabric stabilized.
once you're done painting this is what it should look like and you just want to sew all the way around your hood you want to sew as close as possible to the seam of the hoodie again always remember to end and begin with a back stitch also when sewing this i suggest that you give it a little tug and another suggestion would be to actually use a zigzag stitch i use a straight stitch but i would also suggest a zigzag stitch because that may help with the stretching I wanted to show you here that your hoodie never has to leave your machine when trying to get to the other side. Just simply lift your presser foot and turn your hoodie and continue sewing in a straight line. Once you're done, this is what you should have. And that's it for method one. You're all done. It looks nice and it's not coming off at all. Let's move on to method two. The setup for method two is the exact same as the setup for method one. You wanna pin your seams together as before. And this pinning is just so we can apply our glue in a neater fashion so that we won't get too much glue everywhere. You'll see what I mean because the glue is already messy. So. Just keep on watching. Now you want to remove your first pin and begin placing your glue on the side of the hood. You want to place it right underneath where you had your fabric. And when you put the glue on, I would say do a thick layer. I did pretty thick layers. And yes, it came through the fabric, but once you wash your clothing, that excess glue will come off. Next, you want to remove your next pin and apply your next layer of glue onto the top end. And you just want to do this all around your hoodie. It's super simple. It's a little messy, yes, but it's a very easy way if you're not good at sewing or you're not really hip to the sewing terminologies and stuff like that. This is a quick and easy way to get silk line hoodies. And that's it for method two. This is what you should have. I suggest letting it dry for like 30 to 45 minutes and that's it. Let's move on to method three. In my opinion, method three is probably the easiest method and gives the least amount of mess. Okay, so for method three, we're going to be using fusible hemming tape. Fusible hemming tape is as simple as it sounds. You're literally laying out this tape and using your iron to adhere two different fabrics together. So to do this tape, you actually just want to lay it out where you want your fabric to be placed. Cut as much as you need and then you're going to peel off that white layer i'm going to show you guys here in a second how you do that Once you have that white layer peeled off, as you can see, it left this clear strip and you just want to place your satin fabric right on top. And to fuse these two fabrics together, all you want to do is lay your iron on for about five seconds, maybe not even five, but I would say five to ten seconds just to be sure. You just want to press that in, press that down, and I promise you it's not going anywhere.
and that's it for method three as you can see each of these methods were fairly easy just pick which one works for you and go with that one i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and also if you are new here make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell that's all i have for you guys so may your curls pop and your grind never stop flavor squad i'm out of here